first guest tonight is among those traveling with the president to Cleveland and joining us, the president's chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Mark, great to have you with us. Uh, it's a big evening for the country and certainly uh, for the, uh, the White House. Uh, give us a sense first of the president's mood and uh, his readiness for uh, uh, verbal combat. Well, just like when the president came down on that escalator, that he was ready to go to battle for the American people, he's ready to go to battle tonight to uh, tell the people and hopefully uh, inform the people that not only is he worthy of four more years, but based on his past performance, we should overwhelmingly uh, reelect him. Uh, he's uh, he's got his game face on. He's ready to do. He's well prepared. But I can say this: uh, Listen, when we're looking at the president of the United States, he's accomplished more in 47 months than Joe Biden has in 47 years. And today, tonight on this debate stage, uh, Joe Biden is going to have to account for that. It's all rhetoric and no action. Well, there's, there will be, uh, there, there's certainly the expectation there will be a lot of action on that stage tonight. <laughs> I, I want to turn to the action in, in Washington, D.C. today. Uh, John Ratcliffe, the director of national intelligence, declassifying documents uh, in which there is the uh, allegation uh, that Hillary Clinton was the author of the conspiracy to construct uh, this claim that there was uh, Russian collusion with Donald Trump uh, and that the intelligence agencies were aware of it uh, and indeed had taken a referral to the FBI for investigation and that there was ostensibly no action taken whatsoever by the very same FBI that spent years investigating this president while both in office and campaigning for that office. Your, your reaction? Well, I mean, isn't it amazing that we spent over $40 million in, in many, many months on the Mueller investigation, and yet there was no mention of this bombshell uh, declassification document uh, that came forth today? I can tell you this. Hillary Clinton, based on this, this uh, uh, letter that was put forth by Director Ratcliffe, was not only involved, in, uh, certainly in, in a scheme to accuse the president of what she was guilty for, but the real question tonight, hopefully on this debate stage is what did Joe Biden know about it? Was he part of it? I would suggest that indeed he was. Well, and we do know that the former vice president was in the uh, Oval Office with the president and other administration officials, Obama administration officials, uh, during that uh, infamous January 5th. 2017 meeting uh, in which well, there right, was Lou. a debriefing yeah, you're, you're, about the state yeah. of that investigation. Lou, you're exactly right. And, and Joe Biden can have it both ways. You know, when, when they're getting informed, when the Obama-Biden Obama administration is getting uh, informed by their own director of the CIA, when a, a number of uh, other officials, the FBI and others, are informed about this particular measure that was released today, uh, either he was absent without leave as the vice president or he was part of it. And either answer is very troubling for the American people. If He's asking for their vote for the highest office in the land. Your reaction, uh, if you will, and, uh, and perhaps that of the president, uh, to the, the reports that John Durham, uh, his investigation will produce before the election no interim report uh, or charges against anyone involved in the conspiracy, the Obamagate conspiracy against President Trump. Well, I, I don't want to speak for the president. He stayed out of this particular investigation, but John Durham has uh, spent many, many months, and I can speak on behalf of the millions of Americans I get to hear from on a regular basis. It's time that we have a verdict. It's time that people go to jail, and it's time that people are held accountable for what they did. And, and I can tell you that just based on documents I saw in my previous career as a member of Congress and what I believe is backed up by his investigation, uh, there should be indictments. Hopefully they'll come. Uh, I, I think it's, it's justice that's been delayed far too long for most Americans. And let us, if you would, uh, get your sense of what issue you think will dominate tonight's debate. 
Well, I think what will uh, will dominate t tonight's debate is the difference between a, a president who does indeed put America first, and we've seen that in year one, year two, year three, and now in year four of his administration. That each and every year he says that I have not accomplished enough for the American people. He wants to make sure that the next four years are better, and yet what we we look is the only four years that Joe Biden wants better for him are actually better for him personally. We've seen that over and over again as he goes for election after election. You know, most Americans would have a hard time finding any particular bill that Joe Biden actually sponsored and got into law other than perhaps one on criminal justice that he wants to run away from. And so th this is all about tonight, about a, a mandate uh, that the president received some four years ago and a continuation of delivering on behalf of the American people that this promise, I get to see it each and every day. Every morning I get to see it where this president says, what are we doing for the American people today? I'm honored to serve him. He's honored to serve the people of this great country and ultimately deserves uh, to be reelected. Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. Mark, great to have you here. Thank you so much.